Okay, I'm going to show you how I created that vertical video in Movavi. And since it's a vertical video, I started off by changing my project aspect ratio to 916. From there, I brought 16 vertical images and dropped them into the media bin. I also found a music track with good beats that I thought would work well for this kind of video. Since I knew I needed to edit these photos to the beat of the music, I applied beat detection and then adjusted it to give myself plenty of beat markers to work with. Then I brought all 16 of my photos down into the timeline. Now, while they were all highlighted, I adjusted the crop to perfectly resize them all at once. Okay, so at that point, I have my project set to 916, my photos are all cropped properly, and my music has beat markers. Here's what I did next. So one photo at a time, I started stacking them up in the timeline so that I had four photos in each stack and four stacks in total. Next, I highlighted all photos at once and clicked the picture in picture tool. Now, all four pictures in the stack could fit in the frame at once. To adjust these, I simply clicked one photo at a time and adjusted each one into a different corner in the preview window. I continued this same process for all four stacks of photos. Once I had all my photos positioned, I wanted them to pop into the beat of the music. After giving a quick listen, it was easy to determine which beat markers I wanted to use. So starting with the first stack, I trimmed the beginning of each photo so that they would pop on screen to the beat. Then I split the stack on the next beat so that I could make them all pop into color at once. Now, to finish up this first set of pictures, I trimmed the end of them so that they would end on another beat marker. Moving on, I grabbed the next stack of photos and joined them together with the first stack, locking them in to that same beat marker. From here, I repeated the same process for each stack of photos. Okay, so now here's how I created that fun pop of color. For each stack, I highlighted just the first set of photos like this. And with them highlighted, I used the color adjustments to turn them black and white. Then I went through each stack and highlighted just the second set of photos so that I could enhance the colors and add my favorite look. Even though I thought it looked good at this point, I decided to add some borders. So I grabbed a rectangle sticker, dropped it into the titles track, and changed the color to black. Then in the preview window, I adjusted the size to fully fit the frame and centered it. Then I cloned that sticker, flipped it vertically, then resized and recentered again. To finish this up, I dropped down into the timeline and stretched out these stickers to the end of the project. And it turned out better than I expected. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to help. <laughs>